Herkese merhaba değerli arkadaşlar. Yeni bir oyunda karşınızdayız. Yani oyun eski de bizim kanalda yeni Max Payne 3'teyiz değerli arkadaşlar. Çok ilginç işler olacak bu oyunda diye ümit ediyorum. Güzel bir oyun olduğunu sizlere tekrar hatırlatmak isterim. Ben gençken bu oyunu oynamak çok istemiştim ama olmamış idi. Şimdi bakalım neler oluyor. Hikaye başlasın. This place is great, really comfortable. Yani Rockstar'ın yapacağını yaptı. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. Oyunun otomatik ayarları kötü olabilir. Açılır açılmaz. Kontrol bize geçer geçmez. Ayarlarda küçük bir değişiklik yapacağım. Now, like I said, it was a long time ago. <gülüyor> Let it go. Seriously. Evet, Max Payne 3. Şöyle pozisyonumuzu da alalım. Definitely more my style than Panama or Hoboken, I guess. No, if I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I'd lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited, really. I really needed a new start. <coughs> I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It's certainly, it's certainly in New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. Evet. Müzikten kurtulduk. Piye bunu ayarlayabilirim ama Evet 
ekran kartını zorlayacaktır. Aha attı bizi oyundan. Aha. Bu bir şaka mı? <gülüyor> Hadi oğlum. Bir yana attı sandım. Story. Niv abi biz basitten alalım. Mermi manya yapmasınlar bizi. <gülüyor> Hadi bakalım. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rena clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and Adamın you get what you pay for. Ya. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store Sinema angel of death. Oyun. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging ya, my hadi sister. Yeğenim, hadi. O ne lan? Evet, chapter 1. Bölüm 1'deyiz. Haydi bakalım. I arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. Şu yorumları Türkçe dublaj yapsalar var ya. Bizim ülkede bunlara tekrar yer rağbet olur. Down their drinks. So for now, fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Hate bad. View of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. Something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities. Rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. Kim öldürüyoruz kardeş? Ah, I think I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop. Anti gang. Tıbıtıs, tıbıtıs. I can't remember his name. So who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. A tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. I guess that's what a European education and a co-capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco, a local businessman. Built things, did <laughs> some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned <laughs> things, people. One of the trophies <laughs> he won was his wife, Fabiana. Fabiana wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his coquette younger brother, Marcello. 
He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know. But I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Hadi bakalım, film başlasın. Things had gone from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the window. Başladı fuck fuck yapıştırmaya. Clear. You got this floor? Sure. Right. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. I hoped I hadn't lost my edge. Along with everything else. Ne oldu lan? Left shift. It was time to choose a nasty fall or a bullet to the head. Önüne gelene sıkar. <laughs> that was the boss lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more liquor in her cocktail. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hope not about to be thrown off it. It might have been stupidity or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save the fall. Diğer bir gecelerde başka bir sorun çıktı arkadaşlar. Onu çözmeye çalışıyorum şu an. Siz onu kovalayım derken retri. Kafaya gömçürdüm. Tranquila, tranquila. Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work. Can you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. Şimdi bir şeyler soracak bana. Şöyle. Fica tranquilo. I imagined the elevator doors opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Evet, birileri öldü. Where's Bronco? Nerede lan bu şerefsizler? Too near, enter cover. 
Dragging Bronco along would slow them down, but not much. Biraz mermi toplayalım şunlardan. Bazıların elinde daha farklı silahlar mevcut. Mesela şu. Senin evveliyatını koçum. Ağzı burnu parçalandı eşşol eşen. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard to get him back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. was on the wall to the left of the gate. Düğmesine basıp Veliyatınızı kovalayacağım oğlum kaçamazsınız benden At oğlu atlar The great thing about being famous as well as rich hmm. Is the bad guys know who to kidnap Another parking lot rattling with gunfire. Was I too late? Uh -huh. Kalbinden çift mermi anasını avradınız. Niye retro abi? Gel 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 gel. Avladın ha. Hızına sıçtığım seni sen. Kimin anasını avradını? Z 
Ağzına sıçtım sen kim kim sen kim köpek ibine? Rodrigo. Eşek seni. Opa. You're okay. You're okay. Come on, get up. Öldürdüm. You're okay. Come with me. Come on, get up. 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 Come on, não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância. Ajuda. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll get you home too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. Abi, oyun çok fena ya. So I was ready for bed. Hello, go upstairs. A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! <coughs> oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Mm. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, you need to find him on my schedule because she's gonna give you those cards. Everyone, you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, could spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up or people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. I love this view. Real chill place to hang, you know. Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. 
Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Şey, kahveleri de çok uzun ama ama. Chapter 2'ye girecek burada. Başka bir pislik olacak. Eminim. Oh yeah. This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Hadi oğlum. Say Max, you're a man of the world. What you fucking do it, man? Now what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home. I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Tutmayın beni kardeş. Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Başlıyoruz. Ya silahı sıktı fezevenk. I hadn't seen it coming. That was no surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. I knew if I didn't get to the girls soon, they'd be leaving this place with either a price on their. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor.
There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. Figured this time I'd use the stairs. Öldürdü mü şov eşe yani? E biraz ölsünler değil mi? Hey, Sao Paulo's favorite bodyguard. How's it going, bro? It's not good. Some guys took Jovan and Fabiana. What? Jesus, Max. Hey, I'm on my way. No, no, no. Stay in the chopper. We'll need a way out of here. I'll go find the girls. Got it. They came out there. They went that way into the lounge. Come here. Go, go. Get up, get up. You can't stay here. I need you to lock this door behind you. Get everybody else out of here. Son of a bitch. Whatever the hell they were arguing about, it was time for me to add my two cents. Fena vururum, kardeş. They were still alive, at least. This crew was starting to look a lot like friends of the gate crashers at last week's party. These guys had some real issues with the Broncos. They were back to finish the job. I figured it was time to start doing mine. Pezevenç. Şimdi nereden gideceğiz? Hastır be. They were headed for the helicopter pad. I had to get to the roof before Giovanna and Fabiana left on a one-way flight. I knew this was going to be a bad idea, but in the continued absence of any good ones, I decided to go with it. What a view. I guess my time in Sao Paulo wasn't quite the paid holiday in the sun I'd been promised. At least I was getting shot at by a class of psychopaths. 
Sıçtığımın bir helikopteri eksikti ya. Abi sesli sıkıntı var şu an. Yenim. Anasını avradını olaya gel. Olay çok fena kardeş. Bu nedir ya? Kime sıkıyoruz? Aha. Herifi öldüremedik. Şerefsizler. Abi herifler saklanıyor ben onları yakalayamıyorum mu? Ana namradını ben senin. Şurada bir tane daha şu olay şek var. Nerede lan o? Hadi oğlum çık. Give me a break. Shoot! What the fuck are you waiting for? Oğlum ben bastım ya. Ben bastım ama anan avradını var ya. Ananı avradını senin ben ya. Senin ananı avradını. Sıktım eşoğlunu eşeğine. Hop ananı avradını ne yapıyorsun lan? Shit. 
you know this guy is big. The boy is fast. He's gonna kill him, Max. Do something. She's headed inside, Passos. Get us down there. Right. I'm headed to the helipad. Ana ne yapıyordun ya? Aa, o zaman nasıl çimre peki at derim. Lan ana ne yapıyordun ne oluyor lan? Ananı belleyeceğim şimdi sen dur dur. There was a goddamn army of these goons. Clearly somebody wanted these girls bad. Or maybe they just assumed the Bronco security team consisted of more than a drunk American has been and a Brazilian never was who should have paid more attention in flying school. Either way, I needed to find Giovanna before they did. Şimdi nereden? Şuradan. Hadi gidelim. Isso está ficando vergonhoso. Ela não vale a pena. Temos a mulher do branco. Foi por isso que viemos aqui. O Serrano vai cortar nosso saco se ela. Senin var ya sıçarım ha. Pezevenk. Ee, bu tarafa geldim. Ee, kız nerede? Kız, kız nerede? Kız, kız nerede lan? Oğlum kız nerede? The odds on Giovanna still being alive were getting worse. Başka kim esiriyordu? Fabiana wasn't dead already. I was guessing pretty soon she'd start wishing she was. I was up for one god. Kızın peşinden yardırıyoruz. This was a mess. Where the hell was Passos? We were two failed cops failing miserably at being bodyguards. He approached every. It was Giovanna's necklace. I had to hope the rest of her was still intact. Diyorsun. Giovanna! Giovanna! Max! Over here! What's happening? Where were you? Are you all right? Well, do I look all right? 
Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Basil's crazy. Is he okay? Oh, no, no. Quick detour. He's fine. He's right there. Oh my God, it's Cole. Giovanna, oh. what are you doing? Giovanna. <coughs> hey, no, nothing. Go. Seems like I wasn't the only guy around here who had taken his eye off the ball. Are you okay? My weakness was the drink. Paso's was the sister. Bir şey oldu ama ne oldu ben anlamadım. Pretty ugly in this town. The boss's girl was gone, and part of me wished I was too. <gülüyor> oh yeah, man. Bizim dayı yine yardırıyor ya. Chapter 3. What choice do we have? Evet değerli arkadaşlar. Oyunu pausladık. Niye? Çünkü chapter 3. Sevgili YouTube'cum seni çok seviyorum. Bu oyun bana çok fena sardı haberiniz olsun. Ama ne diyoruz? Bir sonraki bölümde diyoruz devamı arkadaşlar. Videoyu beğendiyseniz lütfen beğen butonuna basmayı unutmayın değerli arkadaşlar. Aynı zamanda abone olarak destek olabilirsiniz. Yorum yazmayı unutmuyoruz. Kendinize çok iyi bakıyorsunuz arkadaşlar. Devamında yeni bölümde görüşünceye kadar şimdilik ne yapıyoruz? Cümleten Allah'a emanet.